Alec. <laughs> Hello, I'm Lefty, <laughs> and uh, welcome back to Hands On with BLG. As you can see, that grill is ready to go. Today, we're going to do... Today, we're going to add something on my lip. But today, we're going to do uh, mushrooms and onions on the grill. I want to do steaks on the grill. Not marinated steaks like we usually do. Just going to do them straight up. So, the first thing we're going to do, that fire is on top of the grate, by the way, burn off some fat. We're going to got you a little bit of olive oil. Just about maybe, a, I'd say, a tablespoon and a half. And I got two tablespoons of butter and some onions. We're going to do these first. On they go. Alright? <laughs> got us a stirry thing. We're going to get these going. Because you want your onions to be, like, caramelized up first. So, that's pretty cool. Fire's going to burn off eventually. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Cast iron don't care about fire. So, I'm going to melt this butter down here. And, uh, we'll get these onions all nicely done up. See, that butter's already starting to cut down. Eh. <laughs> One thing I like about cast iron and cooking on the grill. Hell yeah. I got this pot all seasoned up. This little Dutch oven slash deep skillet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm going to get these all browning up and I'll be right back to you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what the, what the olive oil is for, the olive oil is to, uh, so your butter doesn't burn. The olive oil will, um, it'll uh, help keep your uh, butter from burning because it, uh, your butter burns at a lower temperature, but by adding a little oil to it, it'll help it not burn and turn all black and stuff and brown. It helps. <laughs> it won't stop it fully if you got full heat, but we can control this. I got different heats on this grill here. I got the cooler side right here for doing this part. You see what I mean? So we're going to do this on this side. It's already starting to sizzle. Looking good. Get that all looking sweet. And I shall be back. There's uh, black pepper. There's black pepper and um, salt and that's all there is with with the onions and the butter and the olive oil and the mushrooms it's just going to be black pepper and salt butter and olive oil see you <laughs> back here when that is ready for the mushrooms to go in <laughs> well hell i figure i might as well sit and talk to you a little bit updating the rest of this stuff while that's getting going just right quick like you see we got pepper we got salt we got onion powder in the salsa jar we got garlic powder right y'all like i said if your stuff garlic powder onion powder if your powders and your seasonings are, are clog clunk, clumping up on you beers <laughs> put them in your freezer they won't um everything's good to go i got some lowry's for my steak I got some Worcestershire sauce I'm going to use on mine. We got some soy sauce that we're going to use on the mamas. I have a thick sliced T-bone steak. The mamas got some pretty decent sliced. As you see here, she's got two pretty decent sliced sirloin steaks. She found out she can have these a lot less fat in them and stuff. Pretty cool. So, uh, anyway, boat motor is going good. It's doing all right. We are seven, yeah, seven hours into the break-in period. It's doing just fine. And uh, we got three and a half hours left to go to break it in. We'll do that. I'll do that tomorrow morning. Like I said, it's boring. You listen to a motor run. You come and rev it. But it's doing good. The pool's looking good. Weather's been good during the day. Um, the only thing about that is um where's my beer <laughs> the only uh, thing about the weather pool is a little bit cold you know it's i want to get in it so bad but 
Daytime weather's been in the 70s. Today it hit 80. But nighttime temperatures. Last night, or uh, the night before, uh, two nights ago, <laughs> two nights ago, it got to 48 at night, which kind of crashes the pool down. Uh, last night, it got to 43. Tonight, it's only supposed to get to 50, and tomorrow night, 58, but it's going to be 80 again tomorrow, and I think 78 the day after that. So if I keep these pool clearing, uh, the pool solar heater things on there, it might retain enough heat to actually get in that son of a bitch, I'm hoping, by this weekend. This is Tuesday, right? This Wednesday or Tuesday? This Tuesday. She says it's Tuesday. LAG, the mom, is in that window back over there. But uh, Tuesday, so maybe by this weekend, maybe even yeah, by this weekend, yeah, Friday or something. Mm -hmm. But everything on the boat's going fantastic. Um, still we'll gotta make it back over here. Mm -hmm. Onions are starting to caramelize up nice. Stir them around. But uh, still gotta make a trip to the Harbor Freight and get uh, some three eighths extensions. And uh, um, I want to get a half to three eighths adapter. And um, I gotta grind the front hitch off of the trailer because we want to get a modern hitch. This thing's got one of them little screw down cap things, and we always fight it and stuff. These onions are looking pretty good so far, I think. But anyway, yeah, that's what's going on. Everything's doing just fine. I hope you guys are doing just fine. Yeah. And everything's going your way. And uh, oh, these are looking nice. Gotta let them go get tender, but see how that butter is not burning? There's no smoke. Look at this butter. You can see it's still clear on the spoon. Can you see that? The butter's still just perfect. With that olive oil, it's fine. So here we go with that. Yes, I do have a hot pan holder. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to land this bitch, but I can set it on the stove top because the stove top gets hotter than this. So anyway, yeah, everything's going great. I'll see you back here. Um when um when we're ready to add the mushrooms we're halfway there on caramelizing you can see some of these bad boys looking pretty nice getting all soft that's what we're looking for that's what we're looking for so i'm cooking today i'm lefty hit like and subscribe damn it blg and, and lag the mama and stuff they need you <laughs> like like uncle sam but it's like call me uncle blg <laughs> i want you <laughs> for the BLG machine on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do appreciate new subscribers. I've seen some new subscribers and stuff and new commenters and stuff. I really dig that, man. It's making my day. It's making my day up in here. And BLG and Righty's. Righty's over his He is so hammered right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> you don't want to talk to Righty. He looks nasty. One of his eyes is closed. How about that for weird, huh? That's how hammered he is. Not BLG. Righty. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you when these are ready. Just a couple. Okay, hey, I'm lefty again. We're back. Uh, the onions are ready. Time we put these two boxes of mushrooms in here and cook them down. It should work out just fine. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Box number one in the mushroomage. Going in. I think. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Box number two. These will shrink up. And the mushrooms going in. These will all shrink up. They'll get like real super wet. Then they'll kind of dry out. And then they'll kind of get some more moisture back into them. That's what mushrooms do. Because <laughs> they're mushrooms. <laughs> so let's poke these around a bit. This is going to be a crap ton of mushrooms and onions, but we like them anyway. So it's going to be cool. They'll be about half this size when they're done. This is going to be cool, though. Mm -mm. Trying to mix up some of these with the onions down underneath. See what I mean? Just kind of scoop and flip. See how that's mixing? You can see some onions starting to show up up in here in the shrooms. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, smack these around like that chop. 
Mm-hmm. And that buttery, salty, peppery goodness that's already in the butter and stuff is going to come through and look beautiful on top of a steak. Yes, it is. Stir that all good. That looks wonderful for right now. This is where you got to keep up with this right here. You know, let it sit for about a minute. We don't want to burn everything down on the bottom of the, of the skillet. So, you get your fog machine or whatever you do, like so. The main important thing is, get, get your ass of beer out of the beer locker. And just, here, you know what? Put a little beer in there. Why not? Get your ass of beer and cook with beer. It's kind of like a cooking timer. <laughs> And it tastes good and it's refreshing on a very nice day down in Florida and stuff, northern Florida. That's how these mushrooms are starting to turn color and get a little bit wet. It's just fine with me. Just keep stirring them around up off of that bottom. Don't want any of these to burn because they taste like shit when they're burnt. <laughs> I don't want steak and shit. I want steak and mushrooms and onions and stuff. So at this point, we're just going to keep moving, like so. And that's all there is to these. Ideally, I would have a lid to make these mushrooms kind of steam in their own water excretions. <laughs> water excretions, that's your cooking uh, tip for the day. Mushrooms put off water excretions. Use a lid or a piece of foil. I'm not worried about that right now. What I do want to do, though, come to think of it, I do want to get this lid closed down just a bit over this thing just for a bit so while I'm doing my 30 seconds I'm gonna close this lid let a little bit of smoke get up in there now off of the coals it gets the idea look at these things go look at these things go see now it's really wet in the bottom of the pan what I want to do is cook this down just a little bit more getting a nice golden brown color on these mushrooms you see how that butter is not burning anything? Not a damn thing stuck in my skillet. Always make sure you don't cook with an uncured cast iron pan of any type. Because <laughs> it will stick. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> but here we go. This is looking just about right. Absolutely gorgeous. See, there's nothing really. It's all turning this brown. Beautiful color. I am going to take that off for right now. I'm taking that off. We're going to call that done. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right like that. You want a little bit of meatiness left here, shrooms. I'm going to take this off and set it down here below you. Right down here on this tray, the shelf, we're going to get to the steaks. <laughs> the key point of cooking this. It's going to be cool. <laughs> We got the Naked Steaks. <laughs> That's a good band name, the Naked Steaks. <clears throat> you guys are more than welcome to use it if you're starting a new band. We got Mama's Ribeyes. They're going to go on how? Piaw! Mm. Piaw! Like so. Now I got these going on. Uh. Got Papa's. Big, thick cut. T-bone steak. Mm -hmm. Love me some T-bone. Yes, we're kind of splurging a bit. But this big ass steak, guess what it costs? That's like a one inch cut steak. Guess what it costs? Uh, it was $13.49 down here in Florida. How's that for cool? Steak is poor man food most of the time down here. Now I'm going to take a little salt over here over the top of our steaks. La la la. Put some over the coals. Put some pepper. La la la. Over the top side of this right chunk. Mm -hmm. Some in the coals. Yep. We'll take a little bit of garlic powder. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just kind of over these like that. Take a little bit of onion powder. Oh. 
sprinkle just a touch of this right about it don't take much to get the onion powder out of this shaker thing because it's a salsa jar with a shaker on top we'll get a little bit of that up in here put some in the coals some for the fire mm -hmm. and mama wants soy so we're going to put soy on here like so dribble some soy over the top of that right chill like that done beautiful I want Worcestershire sauce, so I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce on mine, just like that right down. Oh, man. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to flip this over, uh, just like so. I'm going to flip these, get them up off of the grill here, the grate, uh, just like so. Flip that one. Flip this one. We we'll do the same thing to the other side. Oh, oh God! A little salt <laughs> up on here like this. Yep. A pepper up on here like this. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm some for the coals, some for the food. Pepper like that. Pepper shaker don't shake very fast anymore these days. It's getting kind of tired. A little onion powder. All up on here like this. Little on mamas, just like this hill. Like so. Yeah, just like that. Mama wants a little bit of soy. I want worse to share again. Little Worcestershire sauce on mine, like so. And on this side of mine, I'm gonna whip out some Lowry's up here. Smack some Lowry's. Pretty good coating. Some Lowry's right up on chalk. Cause I like it. And that's it. I'm gonna close the lid on this for a minute. Let's see what we come up with. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, and I'll see you back here when it's ready to flip. See, now you're seeing that smoke from the coals and stuff and the drippings from the steak coming up out of there. That's what you're looking for right there. Yeah, I'll see you when they're ready to flip. It shouldn't be too long. And we are going to use, when we flip, we're going to switch over this. We've got our beef. We like uh, this thermometer, you know, grilling thermometer from Expert Grill. Same name as the grill itself. We're going to go to beef been a little bit just a couple of minutes maybe I'd say three or four minutes I'm gonna flip these little bad boys over like this look at that boom boom flip that big monster over like that I'm gonna move these guys like this and I am actually going to probe I think this one for the mamas so I'm gonna stick one in here for the mamas hers are thinner than mine book like that not all the way through BLG, it's not a skewer. Put it in the meat. Like that. Um, that's mine. Uh, flipped it over. Mama's just going to get just a little more soy sauce on this side. A little more like this. Like that. We're going to close this again. Boom. We're going to see what we got. We got 118 degrees. That is beautiful. Like so when this fucking flies, from the, <laughs> huh? Jesus, are you guys drilling? I said, Dad, oh my God, it I'm smells not. really good over there. I'm doing the same thing as I did by the river. Yep, yep. And you can smell this shit for a whole block. Oh yeah. You know. <laughs> Everybody's out there. What's for dinner tonight, BLG? What's for dinner tonight? <laughs> Mine's coming off. It is done. I'm going to finish this video real quick and morph. Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on. BLG
<laughs> Stick around and learn from me.